Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Uh, today, a little bit later than normal, my Dutch friend Ronnie arrived from the Netherlands in Phuket at 7 a.m. this morning, so I couldn't make a video making the video now. Again, of course, four amazing Bitcoin charts showing you what is going to happen to Bitcoin. Still looking, are we going to break to 48k? Are we going to drop to 35k? Let's take a look another time on the charts. Yes, of course, a trading tip, of course, some travel advice. Of course, also life advice and talking about the news because there is some very important news when it comes to self-custody of your Bitcoins. Enjoy the full video. Let's jump into the charts first. Bam! The first chart for the day, guys, of course, uh, this beautiful four-hour chart. On this four-hour chart, we can see, of course, the sell signal in the Bitcoin family um, uh, setup over here, the indicator setup. The sell signal was already there around these levels. Uh, we did break the yellow stepping line and um, the blue line was down blue, the white line, the white line turned down, but there was still a lot of greenish here. And then from here, the, the yellow started, but we are finding support on the midline of the Bollinger Band. So in the bull market, it's not that easy to short the market, guys. It's just a very difficult thing to do in the bull market to short the market. So I would wait and set it out till this candle is really closing this red line as well, because then we can fall to that Bollinger Band over there, the volume around 41K. But if you go in early, you might be stopped out as well. So keep a very um, tight stop loss if you are trading that short, guys. Now, if we zoom out to the daily channel, we can see that we are hitting that huge resistance line, that green line that I drew there already a couple of weeks ago. Yes, I know I'm repeating what I said yesterday, but it's just very important to see that we have huge green candles. The green candle is getting smaller and this green candle is going to close in 15 hours. is even smaller, closing inside of these bodies. This could be like a little bearish engulfing happening over here if that candle will turn red, guys. And if that will happen, then be aware that we could fall back again to that mid red line, 39K, or even to the green line at the moment there at 36 and a half K. So this is on the daily chart. Again, on the MACD, we are, can see it's still a little bit positive. The RSI, yeah, topping out, coming downward slowly. Still very bullish for me all because I don't see any like huge bearish movement yet. But always be aware that it's possible. Always keep your buy orders ready on these massive support levels. The weekly chart, um, lagging behind, of course, the golden cross here, this green line, the 50 weekly moving average is going to cross the 200 weekly moving average somewhere toward the end of December, beginning of January. Um, yes, it's very bullish, a golden cross on the weekly, but, you know, it is lagging behind. We already had a pump. So we could get a retrace to these levels again of 35.6K. But yeah, you never know when Bitcoin, guys, it can take off very quickly because if we will get the spot ETF news somewhere, at the end of December, beginning of January, then don't see this pullback as an option anymore because then I will see a lot of liquidity get it into the market, also retail investors, bullishness, and then we could even break these levels here of uh, 43, 44K and take it all the way to 50K or maybe even 60K, guys. Bear market is over, accumulation phase almost over. You should still be accumulating Bitcoins up to the halving but you won't be able to get them for 16K anymore. I don't think we will again fall below the level of 30K in this bull market, guys. So buy everything you can between those levels. Now, then I have two more amazing charts. The first one is over here. This is a liquidity chart. Ah, it's not like really sharp. I can't get it sharper at the moment. It's uh, the liquidation heat map, which means there's a lot of liquidations happening if you hit the price of uh, 45, 46K, you can see over there, if you go there, liquidations will be hit. And there is also massive amounts of liquidations when we hit the 41K level, because a lot of people are long. So there's a lot of liquidations at that level. And often when there's a lot of liquidations at these levels, we will you know, wick into those levels. You know, we will go down, wick into it, liquidate the whole uh, industry, and then pump up again back to these levels, 44K, and then start to liquidate all those bearish people again um, that have their stop loss or their liquidity somewhere around 45, 46K. That's just how the industry works. Beautiful chart again uh, that will tell you where the liquidation levels are. Then we have this chart that will be the last chart for today. But I really like this chart, guys. Uh, this chart is showing you the Bitcoin demand models. And it's not only the Bitcoin demand model, it's the growth models of, for example, here, the blue line, uh, mobile phone users per 100 people. 
So you can see all these growth models over here um, on the bottom, guys, and we can now see the Bitcoin growth model is here, that orange line. The Bitcoin addresses that count a balance of bigger than $1. So that has been in line with all these other growth models. And the beautiful thing is the price has also been in line with that orange line. So the more wallets holding $1, the more the Bitcoin price is growing. And if you now would follow these paths that we see over here of those three lines, so the mobile phones and the internet users, then that would bring the Bitcoin price massively above 100K. Look here, this is the BTC price, 100K to 1 million. So if I would extend that area to over there, you can see, i make it a little bit more precise, this is 1 million, that's 100K. You can see that if that orange line will arrive in those areas in the next five to 10 years, maybe 2033, you can see even here on the charts, that the Bitcoin price will probably follow that orange line also to those levels between 100K and $1 million per Bitcoin. That is just how technology growth models grow and have grown in the past for mobile phone users, for internet users, and of course also for the Bitcoin and blockchain users because the adoption is only increasing. Very important chart. Pause the video to analyze a little bit more, to analyze all the numbers. That were the charts for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. Yes, of course, the charts all about zooming out. Look at the big picture of Bitcoin. This is still pre-halving. The halving will be in April 2024. I will tell you exactly when we get to the answers of the questions, what the halving means, because there was a question, what does halving mean? The most important thing you need to understand is you should be buying Bitcoin every day. It's very simple. Dollar cost average every day into Bitcoin. If you have some separate cash, if you have a third car or a second car, sell those, invest in Bitcoin, triple your capital, buy all that stuff back if you then still want to have that stuff back, guys. Very simple, beautiful here, this thing of the palm tree. Uh, it's got some extra vibes to it. Uh, so that were the charts. Let's quickly jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys, of course, again, a candlestick pattern. Today, we're talking about the bullish engulfing and the bearish engulfing candlestick pattern. That's two candlesticks following each other up. So if the first one, like we have a bearish move all the way down, and in the end, we have a red candle, but, but then next to it, we have a green candle of which the body is bigger than that red candle, opening down below the red candle and closing above the red candle, that's a bullish engulfing. If we have a bullish run and we uh, arrive at the top and we have this green candle, a beautiful green candle, but that's followed up by a bigger red candle with a higher body and a lower body than the green candle, that's a bearish engulfing. That's a reversal of the market. So we have the bullish engulfing pattern and the bearish engulfing pattern, and both of these patterns mean there is a reversal in the market. So the homework for today, go look at the charts. Please find me a bearish engulfing pattern or a bullish engulfing pattern, and let me know down below in the comments if that really meant that there was a reversal into the market. That was the trading tip for today. Let's jump into the travel tip. The travel tip for today, guys, is relax. Sometimes take it easy. Just relax. Wherever you are in the world, there is always the possibility to relax. Enjoy the scenery, enjoy the vibe, enjoy the music, enjoy the people, enjoy the food, enjoy the drinks, take it easy and relax. It's not a race. Traveling around the world is not like a race to do it as quick as possible. It's not like 180 days around the world you need to enjoy the travels as well. So how do you enjoy them? Through relax, sit and observe everything you see, listen to the sounds, listen to the birds, beautifully zen state of mind, relax, enjoy it. Tomorrow is another day, tomorrow you can climb the Kilimanjaro, tomorrow you can go to a temple, tomorrow you can go deep safe diving, tomorrow you can go jump out an airplane, tomorrow you can do all the stuff that you want. But the travel tip for the day is chill out, relax, play some Rastafari, reggae music, and enjoy that time as well. So, the travel tip for today, relax. The news for today, guys, is that um, Jack Dorsey's new company is creating a new Bitcoin wallet. And it's a very secure Bitcoin wallet. It's a secure wallet where you need to have two out of the three signatures to be able to access your Bitcoin. One is your password, one is a hardware key, and one is a server key. So you have three keys, and two of these keys are necessary to do 
or transact with your Bitcoins from that wallet. Bitcoin Wallet's name will be BitKey and will soon be launched in more than 95 countries worldwide. So you will all have access to that new wallet that should be very secure, safe, and you will still be able to hold Bitcoin the way you should hold your Bitcoins in self-custody self-custody in a safe way with less possibilities of losing your private keys and everything because you have now also this beautiful setup that will do a recovery whenever you use two of those three keys that you need to cover that wallet. So I'm going to test this wallet of course for you guys. I'm going to download it, test it and let you know as soon as possible what I think about the wallet, how it feels, how it works, if it's not too difficult to set up for new people etc etc etc. Keep your eye on that new wallet BitKey because it should be the most simplified wallet user interface wise that is very safe. So Jack Dorsey, thank you for supporting again the Bitcoin industry and let's see how your wallet works. I'm going to Google it, where I can find it, install it and see if it works perfectly. And if it does, I will give you feedback guys next time on a beautiful YouTube video. And there is no other news for today guys, because it's Friday, I'm going to keep it short but powerful because I want to have some dinner tonight as well, probably with my family and friend that just arrived going to the market and maybe again to Maya. There is a beautiful party. Let's jump into the next part. Getting now to the questions of the followers. There's two questions I'm going to answer, like two and a half questions. The half question is, one guy asked me, Didi, how much are you paying all those booties to walk in your videos? I'm not paying those booties. It's coincidence every time again and again. And when I walk the beach, there is a booty. So it's not being paid at all. No payment over there, guys. It's just happening. Now, uh, the second, the two serious questions uh, are other questions. One question was, do you believe that there will be a moment that if we go to the bull market top, and you exchange into stable coins, you know, and we then drop again 70%, that it might be a possibility that you won't be able to buy back those Bitcoins again at the bottom because there is no Bitcoins left on the exchanges. It's a very smart question. Could that happen? Of course that could happen because there is less and less and less and less Bitcoins available on exchanges. More and more people do self-custody. For example, in hardware wallets like the Ledger or the Bitbox, or for example, the new one now, um, BitKey from Jack Dorsey. So self-custody becomes more important because you also can use decentralized exchange. You don't need to hold all your Bitcoins anymore on centralized exchange. So could it be possible in the future that you can't exchange your USDT anymore for Bitcoins on certain exchanges? Of course, when the liquidity disappears from certain exchanges, you can't exchange your USDT anymore on those exchanges. But of course, there's always a market. Then you will be able to exchange your USD on a decentralized exchange into Bitcoins or through a spot ETF or through another possibility. There will always be possibility when there is a market. There is always a market of offer and demand. And as long as there is a market of offer and demand, you will be able to exchange your Bitcoins for USDT and USD to Bitcoin. But to be very honest, there will be a moment can take another 10 years that Bitcoin will be seen worldwide as a legal asset, as a legal tender. And then there won't be the need anymore for you guys to exchange your Bitcoins to USDT or to your bank accounts into fiat, filthy fiat, because then you can use Bitcoin all over the world to do payments and keep it as well as a store of value as an investment. So let's see where it will go, but I don't think it will never be possible to exchange your USDT to Bitcoins anymore because there is always a way. Because when, when there is offer and demand, there is a market, and when there is a market, there is a possibility for you to exchange your USDT back into Bitcoin. There was one more serious question, and that serious question was, Didi, what does the halving mean? I'm going to keep it short but powerful. The halving happens every four years. And the halving only means that the miners from that moment are earning 50% of what they were earning before. So at every halving, the blocks that are being mined are being divided by 50%. So from 50 blocks, uh, from 50 bitcoins in the block, we went to 25 bitcoins in the block, we went to 12 and a half bitcoins in the block, we went to 6.25 bitcoins in the block, and now we're going to 50% of that 6.25 in the block. So Every time when these Bitcoins mine the block, they earn a certain amount of Bitcoins. And that gets less and less and less every four year cycle. And that's going to happen in April 2024. So from April 2024, all those Bitcoin miners that are mining Bitcoins with all those equipments are going to mine 50% less Bitcoins. So 50% less Bitcoins will go to the market daily. I hope that is very clear. So when they are able to only mine 50% of the Bitcoins, they can also only sell 50% of the amount of Bitcoins to the market daily. 
So at the moment, every day 900 new Bitcoins are being mined into the market, so sold into the market because they are mined, then it will only be 450 from April 2024. So that's causing the scarcity of Bitcoin. And from April 2024, Bitcoin will be officially scarcer than gold, for example, because of that halving. Now, the thing that you now need to understand is, if those miners are mining only 50% of the amount of Bitcoins that they were mining before the halving, how can they then still cover the cost that they have monthly? The rent of the buildings, the rent of the machines, the electricity, the investments, their employees, the tax. They need to come to keep continue those costs. And the only way for them to being able to continue to keep paying those costs, those monthly fixed costs, is if the Bitcoin price goes up times two. Because then they are making the same break-even point that they had before the halving. They mine 50% less Bitcoins, but if the Bitcoin price is like 100% higher, it's still making the same amount of revenue they can use to pay the monthly fixed cost that they have for running their mining companies. So that is why the halving is always a very important moment, because from that moment, less Bitcoins will come into the markets, the Bitcoin miners will earn less revenue every day, so the Bitcoin price needs to go higher so that the miners will still earn the same amount of revenue to keep the blockchain secure and up and running. That is what the halving means. Now, that were three beautiful answers on three good questions. Let's jump into the next part of the video. The next part is the inspirational part. I'm going to keep this time a little bit shorter. I'm really running out of time today, guys. Sorry for I'm posting the video late, but I just have a very busy day. Um, what is success? Success is a peace of mind, which is a direct result of self-satisfaction of the fact that you did everything to become the best version of yourself. That is success. If you want to feel successful or be successful, you just need to create a peace of mind of the self-satisfaction that you really did your ultimate best to become the ultimate best version of yourself. In my honest opinion, that's the only success that will exist. And the moment you will reach that success, that self-satisfaction about your successful steps that you took in life, that is the moment you will feel successful. Even if 10,000 people worldwide will tell you, you are successful, the moment you don't have peace in mind about your self-satisfaction fact that you are successful, all those opinions don't matter. Millions of people can tell you that you're successful. If you don't feel successful yourself because you didn't reach that peace of mind state where you feel the self-satisfaction of you becoming the best version of you, all those other opinions won't give a shit. It is your peace of mind that counts. It is you that defines your own success. And the moment you will create that peace of mind that you feel you're successful, and you really believe that you were successful because you did your ultimate best to become the best version of yourself, that is the moment when you will start to feel that you're successful. Not when millions of people worldwide will tell you that you're successful. You need to feel successful. That was the end of the video, guys. Short but powerful. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, then please give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about all the other stuff in this video? I wish you an amazing Friday evening. I wish you an amazing weekend. I wish you a beautiful Saturday, Sunday, doing lives on Saturday and Sunday, of course. Uh, yes, of course, CME gap closing on Friday evening, Sunday evening, opening again. Look at those levels. Maybe you can make a little trade out of that. I wish you again a beautiful weekend and see you probably tomorrow in one of the lives. Thank you for watching. Wish you a beautiful day. Bam.